so tired and hungry already. No, babes, I'm not ready for a third monster. Babe, yeah. I already made provisions to refill your beautiful body. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. When and how? You know, I am a gentleman to the core and I know how to properly take care of a woman. Oh, baby, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Give me a kiss. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> said miracle does not happen. I remember the first day I met Kunle. Babe, you didn't believe me when I said I already made provisions for your nourishment, did you? In all fairness, no. Uh -huh. Baby, aren't you eating? No, I already ate mine while you were sleeping. Kunle, tell me, did you make this? Because it's so <laughs> delicious. Out of this world, I love it. <laughs> Not at all. I order it from the restaurant in the estate. I figure you will be too tired after two rounds to cook anything. Oh, mm. thanks for coming. <laughs> Secret with you. Tell me. After my last relationship with my cheating ex fiance, yes. I never thought I could fall in love again. Hmm. Not to talk of being treated like a princess. Sweetheart, you see, life is full of beautiful surprises from people who have faith in God Almighty. Sure, you're right. The food died. I just finished eating. You know, I'm tired of it. I just finished eating. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, what are you doing? Babes, hmm? I just finished eating. Let the food digest mm -hmm. before we go into the third round of our bedmatics escapade, please. <laughs> You have a very dirty mind. Mom, what is the final rest for? Drop them there. I'll get back to you when I'm done with them. Okay. Um, Mom, I'd like to say something. What is it, Bookie? You have not been yourself for quite some time, and I really do understand how it feels to lose your loved one. But sometimes you really have to move on. I really can't remember the last time I saw a smile on your face. Well, thanks for your concern, okay? And Thanks for looking out for me. I cannot. We all cannot wait to have our tear for your back. I'll get past all of this, I promise. Okay? Thank you. Okay, I should take my leave now. going to miss you. Oh, should you now miss you more like? Um, <laughs> but the issue at hand is a bit serious. I need to see my mom. Uh, babe, you know, you know our surgery is scheduled for tomorrow, right? Yes. And she needs my emotional support. <laughs> I agree with you, baby. Mm -hmm. You should be there for her. Baby, yeah. take this cash. Use it to get the provisions for your mom 
and ensure you extend my regards to her. No, no, babes, <laughs> there's no need for this. You know I have enough money on me, right? Yes, yes, yes. It is my duty to take care of you and everyone close to you. I am only doing my job. Oh, babes, you know you're the best, right? I love you so much. Thank you, much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so grateful, baby. Thank you. <laughs> this is what I need to leave like, right oh. now. She call me Django. Hello, princess. I guess you're on your way now. Oh, baby, don't tell me you're not coming anymore. Yes, that's the great news. In all fairness, I have missed your delicious vegetable soups. How long is it going to take you then? I can't wait to see you, dearie. What's the player? Always a player. I am the ladies man. Hey, once a player, always a player. I am the ladies man. I want to be a grandmother. <sighs> and all Kuleton have come up with excuses. Can you imagine that? I can't wait to be a grandmother. You know one thing? Something crossed my mind. What if I match make your daughter Ogechi with my son Kuleton? That could cement our long-lasting relationship, you know. I can't wait either. Your own role is just to convince Ogechi to marry Kunle. I will talk to my son. Who may listen to me? Just convince your daughter Ogechi to marry my son Kunle. And the rest, they say, is history. And they will live happily ever after. All right, um... Okay, just do your parts. I will talk again. Make sure you convince her, okay? Mm. <clears throat> this food is delicious. I hope you made the soup in surplus. <laughs> of course I did. I kept some in the freezer for you. That's my girl. You deserve an award in cooking. I hope you know. <laughs> I like cooking for my grandmother, whereby when we used to get to the village mm. for Christmas celebration. Wait until you test my grandmother's food. <laughs> mm, sweetheart. I don't know about how your grandmother vegetable tastes, but this is sumptuous. Nice, darling. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Mm, so good. Thank you for making this for me, please. You want some? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm?
the five things you love about me. Don't be silly, stop. I don't want to break it. There's always another one in the dish shop. Okay, wait. Uh, I love the fact that you're caring. I am caring. Hilarious and fun to be with. Mm -hmm. You pay attention to details. Details. And you're a good kisser. Mm. I can wait for you to tell me the fifth reason. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> hmm? Tell me. You're good in bed. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, welcome. How, how is your day be now? My day was okay. I, I hope the tra uh, traffic no day too much. Oh. What is your concern with my encounter with traffic? Why don't you cut to the chase? What do you want? I, I, I don't even understand the two the, the, the way they talk about. But the two I try to talk about that. that uh, right and the chase no day inside this again. James, what the hell do you want? What do you want? Uh, Madam, you know that the, the, your English is my own. No, no, you know the straight now. My English is no fresh like your own. You have nothing sensible to say to me. Next time you stop me like this again, I'll deal with you accordingly. Uh, ma 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 Madam, I don't, ma make you know Vezo. They, they say you call me for my village. You say my papa know well. Even my mama said you know well at all. And they no get the money to buy drought. I say, I say, make I ask if you go fit to borrow me a small money. And you know that I know if you to leave this company and make a home robber no enter. So I say, make you borrow me some money for inside my salary. Make I send them, make you buy a drug. How much do you want? Uh, no, 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 that's 10,000. 10,000 10, only. Madam, thank you, thank you. Thank God will go begin bless you. In fact, everything where you put your hand for this world, you could, you could move where, where. God will go bless you, yeah? All right, you too, Tunde. Let them in, please. Oh. It's that old lady. <laughs> how are you? Paul, how are you? How's it going today? I am great, and you? <laughs> oh. Superstar, <laughs> how do you do, good? Okay? Sit down, please. Kunle, you didn't come for my mom's sister's birthday. I'm angry with you, bro. Guy, I am sorry. I have a lot on my plate. The annual conference I attended in France clashed with your mom's birthday. I promise I will make it up to her. Kunle, yes. it's so painful you're not there, but trust me, you escape the drama that happens in the party that day. <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand why mothers are like that. See, the other day at my mom's house, she kept on going on and on about how she wanted to become a grandmother and all of that. I have not been answering the phone call since then because I know I am running out of excuses to give her. You know, come to think of it, we are not getting any younger. So, our moms are right. Yes, yes, they are right. But you see, for me, mm -hmm. I'm not ready to hang my adventurous boot for women. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Guy, come on, man. Life is too sweet and too beautiful to stick to one woman. One woman. Nah, 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 nah. I agree with you, bro. Nah, you nah, know, nah, nah, nah. I love the feeling of tasting it. Variety of Pardon my manners, I didn't offer you anything to drink. What do you, uh, what do I get you guys? What do I offer you guys? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Look, 
food, I'm fine. I'm, I'm cool. But come, come to think of it, why don't we go clubbing this Friday? I mean, it's been a while we did something like that. Yo, that's an excellent idea. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, that's a big thing. Unleash that craziness we used to have back then in these two days. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> Damn. Man, guys, I have to go. I have an appointment with a client for four o'clock, please. Oh I can't wait for our Friday oh, rumping. <laughs> these are beautiful. I can't wait to wear them. Yes, they are. Okay, ma. I'll take my leave, please. No. Not so soon. Oge, I had a serious discussion with your mom. Did she relate it to you? Yes, ma. Hmm. And what was your response? Ma, Kule is a fine gentleman. I'm sure a lot of women would like to have his attention. Ma, I'm too young to compete over a man. No. You're not going to compete. I want to allay your fears, Ogechi. My son is not in any serious relationship now. In fact, he's not committed to any woman now. He told me that himself when he told me that he couldn't find a decent girl from a decent background to marry. And that is where you come in. You know, your mom and I have been friends way back from our primary school days. And I know her like the back of my palm. And I know you too, Ogechi. Okay, ma. So if I agree to the proposal, will Kunle agree to? You know it takes two to tango. Yes, I know. Leave that to me. I am Kunle's mother. And he will listen to me. All I need you to say is, yes, I will marry your son. And if you say that, and you do that, I want to assure you that you will never regret marrying my son. Now, what I want you to do for me is listen to me. And we will take the steps together. Do you know what makes me positive about all this? No, ma'am, I'm curious. Hmm. The fact that Kunle was very fond of you from childhood. <laughs> my mom said the same thing too. Don't worry, it will work. Together, we will make it work, okay? Ma is getting late, I have to go. No problem. You see, okay, when you told me you were coming, I brought this for you. Take Thank you. And I also want to pay your transport fare. And you have a blessed evening, okay? Bye bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. What is the meaning of this display? Um, Madam, it's your birthday, ma. Madam, now your birthday now. Today is my birthday. Now, because you'll be a better person now, so me and uh, Odon now, who come uh, to the register, we will give you a present for in your birthday. Look up. Did I tell you I needed a reminder that today's my birthday? James, I can see you're being overpaid. That is why you had enough money to buy a bottle of wine. Tata. I'm sorry, Mal. We never meant to upset you. Oh, no, thank you, Tata. Sorry, Mal. Very sorry. I should be the one saying sorry. I'm sorry that I overreacted. I've really not been myself lately. Sorry about that, but this is beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Madam, eh? <laughs> you see, by next year, when you go celebrate your birthday again, eh? We we'll go even celebrate the cry of a pretty, pretty children inside this house. Hey. You go, in fact, you go upon the twins, oh. <laughs> you go marry better husband. Amen. Now, hey, me now. Hey, Amen. Hey. Thank you very much, James. I'll send it to the kitchen. All right, ma. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Ma. Okay, ma. Thank you. Make I go. Ah. Please, mother, make sure you heed the doctor's advice. No lifting of heavy objects, 
no Gary or Fufu because mother, I know you <laughs> for the next six weeks. Please, mother. Really? Uh, and you, brother, please, I beg you, take very good care of mama. You know you're the only man we have in this house. I will. That is my primary assignment as the man of this house. <laughs> Did he that? Oh, so, um, Sandra, yeah. What about a young man you're dating that called me while I was in the hospital? What about him? Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. from the way he treats me, I think he's crazy in love with me. Oh my. And I love him too. It's <sighs> good. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, well, so, what's with the delay? He's holding down a good job, you have a good job, you love him, and he loves you. What next? Um, well, I intend speaking with him the next time we meet, and I'll keep you posted. Please do, but then, my dear, you know, a woman's life is like a flower. And the more you delay these things, the lesser your chances of, you know, settling down. And I wouldn't want that for you. I understand your concern, mother. Okay, so please do extend my regards to him concerning the money he sent to me with me while I was in hospital. Please do thank him for me. I will. Ah, okay, James. <laughs> mother, <laughs> birthday. Uh, ah, celebrate. <laughs> celebrate them. So long like oh, see, see Percy, you don't start to drink. Oh, 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 now, madam. What's going on here? Hey, enjoy your life now. It's to make his celebration day. It is today that your birthday. And the very small time now go begin to sing happy birthday to your birthday again. Hey. Okay. Well, thank you. Hey. Hey, oh, 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 Mr. Fastoyo. The thing you just confuse you inside my brain. Me, I don't know. Eh? I don't know. You see, they make her vex. Now, now, wow. I hope she will never offend her, I don't know. But, eh, hold on now. You see, you don't think you serve to cook well, well. Hmm? Any man wait, go deep, he go deep in wife for inside the house. Go say to determine for a man to come to sleep with you. What the fuck is up? You come marry you put for house for forever. Mm. Oh, yes. James. Eh? Shabby, you do okay. Uh, now what do you do now? But you know say uh, me and you. <laughs> we know they the same lane. Oh, they they, 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 they Oh. See, eh? The very first day like this where you go sleep for inside my bedroom. Mm. Eh? That day you go there convinced on for inside your brain. Oh. You go there that man part man. Eh? Okay, okay. Now that day you go know that my devil and your devil will not be the same at all. You know say how they talk another thing. You, you did they talk another thing. What did A get to do with B? Okay, now, now what are you talk about now? Shabby, you know say we know they the same line. Abby. Abby cook. You be get man. I want to take care of our family now. They go to the next level. Abby, you say think calm now. I don't think I'm, but you know that today and tomorrow will not be the same thing at all. I feel to be president of free this Nigeria tomorrow. I don't know now. Now what? Please. 
Adama! Adama! What the hell is this? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I did it because uh, uh, your mom does it every year. So I did it, I just wanted to make you happy. Did I tell you I wanted to continue with the annual routine on my birthday? Mm -mm. Why do you choose to rob the death of my parents in my face? And uh, madam, no be so now. Eh? We just want to make your day happy. Make your day happy for your birthday. Everything. Make you don't miss it. You raise mama, you raise papa. Oh, you By don't the die. time I open my eyes, you would have cleared this rubbish from here and get the hell out of my room. Natasha, you mean I should get out of your house soon? Calm down, Natasha. Everything is going to be all right. I understand, Natasha. But crying on your birthday is not cool. How do you expect me to be okay? Huh? How do you expect me to be okay when every year I look forward to celebrating my birthday because my parents have a way of springing up birthday gifts? Where are they now? Tell me, where are they? Natasha, I understand. I understand how you feel, but you have to quit the blame game. Maybe if I had been more prayerful. Maybe if I had gotten to the hospital earlier. Maybe if the security system in this country was more effective, my parents would have been alive by now. Please stop, Natasha. Stop the blame game. You're only hurting yourself. Today is your birthday and you need to be happy. Happy? Did I hear you just say happy? My parents look forward to celebrating my 30th birthday with me. Do you know what it feels like to be alone without parents with whom you share strong emotional attachments in existence? Do you? Look, I understand, Natasha. How you feel? I can't forget a scenery of that day. That unfortunate day when I walked in on them laying in the pool of their own blood after the arm robbery attack. I can't get the pain on their faces from out of my memory. I understand how you feel because sometimes we don't have control over how we feel. We all know how your parents dote and showered love and affection towards you. I mean, you're their only child. Do you think they'll be happy seeing you go through this? Natasha, I heard you screaming at your domestic staffs. Who only wanted to put a smile on your face on your birthday? I'm ashamed of what grief has turned me into. For me, I really want to get past all of this. I swear I do, but I can't. Natasha, you can if you want to. I mean, only you have the power to change how you feel. You can pass through this, this, this morning clock of yours and be the happy person you want to be. Would you want to? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. I can hear you. Yes. Say it like you mean it, Natasha. Come on. <laughs> yes, I am. Say it like you mean it. Yes, 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 I am. Hmm. Somebody is ready to clap tonight. <laughs> you know what, sometimes I, I think you're, you're in the wrong profession. You know, I think you you would have been a better counselor than a surgeon. Hmm. Yeah. Is that a compliment or a recommendation? It so is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, let's go change into some hard games. Oh. Somebody is going to clap today. <laughs> okay. Stand up, go. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello, Paul. Where do we hook up? I am all set to paint town red. <laughs> so, what do we do now? It has to be our complete squad outing. So, where do we meet? Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'm coming. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. This should be learning the universe that it's all yours. Why don't you say that? It's what I perceive. I could be wrong or right, is it? Right. Yes. You know, sometimes when sad occurrences and come your way, you just become a shadow of your own self. Mm. So, that's so, exactly what I'm going So, are you saying I was wrong about my opinion about you? I'm not saying anything. So, what are you saying? I'm not, I'm not saying, saying anything. anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hmm? I made a bet to just see me for a day. My boy, okay. for 200 pounds. 200 pounds? Yeah. That I can get you to the city. Right. So if I don't dare to see you leave. I do. So. Well, I'm a nice person, so why not? I do a charity. Yeah. Okay, so let me do that. <laughs> Mom, you and your surprise visits. <laughs> what if I was out of town or something? Am I not welcome in my son's house anytime I choose to come? How about, Mom? Do you know if you have an exclusive access to my house? Any day, in any time. All right, son. <laughs> you are now a big girl. The rate at which you grew is quite amazing. You look so pretty just when you are a little girl. How is your mom? She's fine. Can I get you anything to drink? You see what I've been talking about? What are you talking about, mom? I expect that when I come to your house, your wife and children will come and greet me at the door. But there is none. Kunle, you are not getting any longer. And that is why I have come. There is no wife in this house, and we must get one. Mom. Stop embarrassing me now in the presence of Ogechi. I'm trying to dance into your tunes, ma'am. Tunes? Oh, sorry. You should. Ma'am, we'll talk about it later. I asked. Who is she? You have not introduced her to me. Ma'am. Miss Jenny. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend, colleague. I thought you said we are getting engaged soon. Yes. Sleep of time, ma'am. She's my fiancée, Jane. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my daughter. How are you? Fine. Mm. Fine. Good 
find me. My son has found the bone of his bone, the flesh of his flesh, and the root of his root. Father, may your name be praised. Kule! <laughs> Ah, oh, my joy knows no bounds. Anything you prepare will be fine. Okay, love. Come and you. Anything is fine. Okay, okay. I'll be right. All right. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> <laughs> in front of your mom. I can see love in the air. Sugar. <laughs> baby. Baby, why you why are the door? Is there a problem? No, no, no. There's no problem. Can we go for a stroll or something? I uh, no, I'm just coming in, baby. The sun outside is scorching hot. Let's <laughs> just go in. Baby, what is wrong with you? Let's, let's go in. Well, come on. Let's just <laughs> baby, let's Oh my god, you told me! Oh my god! Good afternoon, ma. Oh, good afternoon, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Mama. I've heard a lot about you from Kunli. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice and to meet you. Are? Um, mm -hmm. Mom, meet Sandra. <laughs> she is my fiancé. <laughs> Another fiancé? Fiancé, Kunli. Are you out of your mind? Babe, it's not what you think. Baby! Kundi, what is going on here? I need an explanation right now! What is going on here? Oh, I saw her picture on your phone, Kunle. You told me she was nothing but just a friend! Kunle, you made me feel like you're heaven and earth. Heaven and earth indeed. Are you mocking me? And if I do what you do, do what we I do what I do. You are holding me because of this thing. Because of this thing. You started the madness the same day you decided to cheat on me. Kunle, how could you do this to me? How could you, Kunle? I thought we shared something special. But obviously. I was totally wrong. My God will judge you, Kunle. Just get out. Get out. And you, what are you waiting for? Are you talking to me? You're supposed to be apologizing to me for being a two-faced cheat. I need you to get your letters and have use of your things and move out of my house now. Anyways, I never planned on staying. Good obedience to bad rubbish. I am ashamed of you. Your father was a decent and honorable man. Um, please, allow me to explain myself. Explain what? Explain what, Kunle? When you turn a new leaf, then you can come and explain. Get your dirty, filthy fingers off me. I cannot come here every day to watch this ugly drama, Kunle. Kunle. Oh. Okay, Chile, let's go. Come on, wake up, you sleepy head. Oh, damn, you just ruined a beautiful dream. Really? Well, why wouldn't you have a beautiful dream when you were all lovey-dovey last night? Wait, what? Please just stop it, okay? Do not give me that forgetful look. I mean, you were all over the block last night. That, wait, wait, wait. Oh my God, I hope I didn't do anything stupid. 
Oh gosh, I can't remember anything. My head hurts so badly. <laughs> Please, look. In as much as I would love to give you all the details, I am late for work. I need to run home and prep up. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on now. You always have a way of keeping me in suspense. Don't do that. Well, let that be my own little secret, okay? <laughs> See you, babes! Yeah, whatever. Get out of here. I'm on my way. It's a long story. Oh. Kule, what happened, bro? You got me extremely worried. What's going on? Guys. I faced the greatest embarrassment of my life this Come morning. On. Come on, that's not possible. Do you remember? I made an arrangement yesterday. Yeah. yeah. To pick up Jane after the club. Yeah, you said you were there too. How's the night in your place? Okay. As usual, we came home and we had a fun film night. Call it the line of the magic. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, I'm listening. So now, where is the embarrassment in that? Only for my mom knock at the door this morning to wake us up. Your mom? My mom. Wow. Now that's interesting. Where did it go up? She came in with her best friend's daughter. Now, oh, so I introduced her to Jane as my fiancé, so she knows I'm working towards settling down. While Jane was in the kitchen making food for my mom. Wait to go up. Remember my Sandra chick? Sandra, Sandra. The one that just at you about how I cross her bed game, oh, huh? Okay, yeah, 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 remember. She came in and announced. Damn, bro. That's not good. But come on, Kule, you're a sharp guy now. You're a sharp guy. Should have stopped her at the door knowing very well that Jane was in the kitchen. Guys, I try my best. She seems like I was hiding something away from her. Now only she entered, come introduce herself to my mom. While I was introducing her to my mom as my fiance, Jane got out of the kitchen and everything just got mercy. Oh man. They were practically pulling each other hair until Sandra walked out in annoyance. I have to let Jane out too. Man. Now I understand how embarrassed that's never been. You need to see how embarrassed I felt in the presence of my mother and the little girl that she brought with her. Guys, guys, you know, I keep saying this. We can't be perfect with the games we play with these women. We can't be that perfect. So, Kule, what do you plan to do now? No, that's not the question. The question is, who do you want to choose among the both of them? <laughs> you say choose, <laughs> choose. Yeah. <laughs> I am done with the both of them. I need a fresh baby in my life, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no more stews. No more stews. No more stews. No more. Stews. No more. No more. <laughs> you are the same person that keeps singing praises for these two women. Look, I suggest you just pick one of them and settle down with her. No, I think I agree with Kennedy. How long do you want to continue to do this? For how long? Guys, I agree with both of you. It's just like ever since I met this girl yesterday in the club, huh? I haven't been myself since. There's something about that girl that reached the deep core of my being. <laughs> Kunle. 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 You just met this lady. Guys, I know, but I have a deep feelings from her. Well, you know what? It takes you to tango, so I feel you follow your heart. Have you tried reaching her? I've been calling her line since the all unfortunate drama happened, but I can't seem to get to get through. Then have you tried that again? No. Come on, try again. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, sunshine. Sunshine, who is this, please? You can't remember my voice. Can you please introduce yourself before I cut the call? It's me, Kunle. Kunle who? I just peeled wine on my shirt, remember? 
I'm afraid you dialed the wrong number. Yo, what's up with her? We kissed yesterday. If not for a friend interrupting, she would end up in my bed yesterday. Leo, you need to calm down. You know what? Ladies of nowadays. Look, Kule, you should be grateful she didn't end up in your bed last night. If not, she would have been in the middle of all this drama right now. And that would be so messy. Yeah, man. I agree. And all the same, mm -hmm. I'm still gonna keep my tabs on her until she becomes mine. Hmm. You know I got you, bro. <laughs> we got your back, brother. All the best. <laughs> all the best. All man. the best, man. We got your back. We got Thank your back. You. Thank you. I'm still trying to remember whether or not we met at the club. <laughs> Maybe a repetition of what we shared that night. From the fresh memory. Tennessee, what kind of thing are you talking about? Oh my gosh! How, how dare you! <laughs> From the flame evidence in your eyes, I do believe the memory of a hard kiss at the club has been or something. How dare you? You have no respect for womanhood. How dare you try to force your mouth down my throat? I must confess, Natasha. You look prettier when you smile. Oh, God. For me, I've been meaning to ask you about what transpired between me and that guy the other night at the club. I intend to keep it secret for as long as I want. Me like day and I had to block him from calling me. Come on. I mean, he's obviously interested in you. That's why he is calling consistently. And he likes me. What kind of life is that? Ah, you know the other day he, he drove down my office and tried to shove his mouth down my throat. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. Okay. Um. He was going on and on and on about the passion we shared at the club and all of that. You know. I'm, I'm, I'll report him all. I'll report him to the police. Police? Police Bowel. How about Natasha? Come on. Do you want to hear the truth about what happened last night? Of course I want to hear the truth and nothing but the truth. Because everything that happened that night seems to have been deleted off of my memory. Okay. So I went to pick the call. That was from the office anyway. So by the time I came back, before I could say Jack Robinson, he was like kissing. Wait, what? How possible? Seriously? Uh, Before I go back, you were all over each other. Are you serious? So you mean all of that happened because of that drink I took? So why didn't you stop me? It's not funny, I just find it extraordinary. Come on, obviously he's interested in you, madam. Good morning, Kunli. Good morning, Sandra. Baby, can we talk? Uh, baby, I was hoping we could talk. I've been calling you several. You've not been picking up. Why? The work these days are killing me. Busy. And you didn't deem it fit to call me back. Sandra, I said I've been busy. Kunli, what exactly did I do wrong? Why have you turned into a stranger? Maybe I, I, I thought we had something special. I thought we we're headed to the altar already. Why? Woman, you've done nothing wrong. 
you are a good woman who loves from the bottom of her heart. Then why are you acting strange? Baby, why are you acting like I'm some sort of virus you fleeing from? Why? You still don't get it, do you? No, I don't. Because every night I lay on my bed, I'm haunted by the sweet memories we shared. And then I ask myself, where and when and how did things between us fall apart, Kunle? Sandra, in as much as I admit that you are a good woman who loves from the bottom of her heart, I can't but let you know the truth about my feelings. What truth, Kunle? I need to know, perhaps, it will give me closure over this confusion I have in my head, baby. Sandra, I am not in love with you. Okay? You love me more than I love you. And I'm not comfortable with it. Baby, come look at me. Look at me. Just look at me, can be. My love is enough for the both of us, baby. Stop. I don't mind loving you more, stop baby. Stop it, Sandra. Stop it. It's don't, not going to work. Don't do this, Kunle. Can't you see it? I don't mind loving you. My stop it, Sandra. Can't you see it's not going to work? The tears on your face won't stop anything. A broken relationship is better than broken marriage. I have to be on my way now. I have a business to attend to. Stop, Sandra. I have built my world around you, Kunle. Kunle, Kunle, I've, I've invested so much in this relationship, baby. Please, please, I beg you, Kunle, I beg you. Baby, look at me. Don't do this to me, Kunle. Baby, look at me. Look at me. It's me, Sandra. It's me. It's me, baby. My mother, bro. Look at me. Please. Kunle, please, I beg you, Kunle. Kunle, Kunle. Go. Kunle, Kunle. Are you sure you didn't do anything wrong? It's quite unusual of him to act that way. You, you know what? There's these old things that say there are two sides to every story. I've listened to your version of the story. You're going to give me time to arrange a meeting with Kunle so as to know why he's not been picking your calls. So from there, we know the next line of action, okay? Yeah, relax your mind, okay? Kunle speaks highly of you. So I'm sure. Things will work out between you two, okay? blind or something. Can he read the writings on a wall? I don't want to have anything to do with him. Ugh. First of all, I'm not your angel, okay? And you have no business asking how my day went. Well, keep your care to yourself. Can't you read the writings on the wall? I am not interested in you, okay? I can and will never have anything to do with you. Get that into your thick skull. Oh, gosh. You know what? Let me just turn this one off. This madam, now so they could just did they enjoy themselves. God, help me now. Now, which time I go live this kind of life? I can enjoy while it's last. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! I don't know. I, I don't say they're helping you too much. Eh? 
Hi. Since the madam don't go up, he go up. He just they told him to step to be like in Zokonu, madam, for inside this house. Oh, God, James. Eh? What is your problem? Now you be my problem now. I don't feel your problem. You see, he's supposed that me and you like this will go there. Do enjoy ourselves for our our inside this house. As by this time, we are only men in there. It's not good to make a fine girl like you there. They stingy with your body. Oh, God, James. Shebi, you don't be mad. Now you can make me mad now. Oh, God, James. Shebi, you know, say this place no be your gate post. And I want to, I just want to tell you, you help me. You don't hear me so. I beg. I did my tea, enjoy myself. You don't hear me so. I beg you, before I close my eyes, now, Baba God, I might beg you. Before I close my eyes, open my eyes. May you clear, may you vanish enter your gate post, I beg. They have me so I'll pour your total if you don't come up for you. Okay, I'm not going to you. You know you don't have to go down, yeah? Eh. Yeah, I so I know what I'll be. You know what I'll be Eh, okay, why not? Wait for me, nonsense. You useless, useless, stu stu stupid man. What can wait for me at the call? Nonsense, you do. Ah, wait, don't do useless man. Nonsense. Eh? If I wait now, eh? If I wait and decorate your body with this for water, foolish man. Foolish man. Eh? Useless foolish man. Mom, the gate man brought this and he saved it for you. All I ask is 10 minutes of your time. I've been restless since the day we first met. Kunle. <laughs> Wait. Why are you laughing? I'm sorry. I just feel like the sender is a very romantic. Oh, really? Yes. You know, maybe I should give you his contact so you can tell him exactly how you feel. I'm sorry. Take this and do whatever you want with it and tell Musa that the next time he receives anything like this from the person who brought this, he should consider himself jobless. Take this away. Yes, ma'am. Connect with a man that can share with me this expensive gift. Good evening, Clara. What are you doing here? Is it not a crime for me to check up on my daughter and her mother? Look here, Kenneth. Cut the crap and tell me exactly why you are here. I'm being serious. Look, I bought her some things, okay? And I feel like to deliver it in person. Well, Sophia and I are doing just fine without you. I don't want you coming around here and raising her hope and then Disappearing into thin air like you did in time pass? Look, that was then, okay? I'm a changed person now. Such thing can happen again. You can say that to my shadow. Hmm? Kenneth, now tell me in an early age. You denied the pregnancy. You, you never took responsibility of I and the baby. Thank God for my parents who forgave me and stood by me. What would I have done? You know very well that I thought all this was a lie. The hmm. pregnancy and all, I, I thought it was a scam. Okay? Look, 
the moment I realized the truth, you know I came back. I did for both of you. Yes, you did come back. Five years later, hmm? you came back and I introduced you to her as her father. But then what happened? What happened next, Kenneth? You disappeared into thin air. You broke her heart. It took me months to bring her out of the misery that, that you, her father, put her through. Look, I can't go back that lane again. Just, please. Clara, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I know I've been so irresponsible in the past. I feel ashamed of myself. Believe me, I do. But I'm fine now. I'm back to my senses. And all I want to do is be in the life of my daughter, OK? And just give me one chance. Just one more chance to make things right. Please, Clara. Kenneth, get out of here. I don't want you in my life. I don't want you in my daughter's life. Huh? Just go, you womanizing son of a nobody. Please. Clara, you please, I'm, you know I mean no harm. Clara, Clara! Hello, who's on the line? Oh, hi. How are you? Wonderful, thank you. I'm so sorry. My shadow is quite hectic now. How about I call you during the weekend and then we can go. Thank you so much for calling. Bye. Mama, deep beside you. What did they saw? Now ought you because one, the time why they hear your voice for that phone, I don't like her at all. Tell me what they saw. Mama, the para. Sugar, he's my fiancé. Yeah. But all of a sudden, he broke up our relationship without any tangible reasons. I want you to deal with him. I want you to teach him a lesson that he will never, ever forget for the rest of his life. This guy don't care problem for my life. Sexy mama like this, ain't gonna fuck up with. Mama, what do you want me to do? Just give me a, just give me all that. I'm not doing anything. I'm the para. What's your happen? I am yet to get over the shock of the fact that our relationship has ended. But you know what? What, Mama? He just messed up with the wrong person. Hmm. Worry, babe, no the carry last. I trust you. You know what? I'm going to forward his pictures and address to you. But please. Make sure you do a very clean job. Oh, Mama. You know, saying that this kind of man, the law for my life. I go do and clean and clear. Alive. This job, mm -hmm. in Papa said, go fill up for house. Yo, what is wrong with you? Huh? Take your bike out of my way, man. Go this side! Papa, yeah! Hey, hey! No, no, no. Please. Fine boy! Now you break my heart each time I be. I never broken the heart of any woman in my life. I what? Okay, you just say you be full of Abby. We resemble my face, Abby. I go beat your fuck up this night. <laughs> you not say woman. Then be wetsy. Then be egg. Please, please, please. Don't hurt me. I'll give you anything you want. Do not hurt me. Wait, you talk. Go go punish your papa. We the same with the person we never show for your face, Abby. Please, 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 please don't hurt guy, guy, please. Calm, calm. They don't send us a last emote to destroy your life. 
As you do so, you go learn less. Say you're not to learn this. Should that, should that wait, 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 wait. Don't forget to say this day where we day. Now if you see me tea where you don't deal. I'll give you, I'll give you, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Natasha, Natasha. Um, how have you been? I was attacked from some hoodlums on my way back from the office. Well, I'm sorry. I hope you went to the hospital for that. Why is your friend make me feel like I am some sort of unwanted dirty pig? What have I done to deserve this deep hatred from her? Look, she's a wonderful person and has a good heart, okay? But she needs time, you know, to open up at her own will. Peaceful. Tell her. I am crazy about her. I want a serious relationship with her. Please, help me appeal to her to give me just five minutes of her time so I can tell her exactly how I feel about her. Please. All right, Kule. I'll talk to her for you. All right? Thank you for everything. Make sure you take care of your head. All right, let me go. She's waiting for me. Why you continue to give that guy audience? Can't you see he looks like a player? He looks like a player, but you don't know if he's one. Well, my first approach with him was pretty messed up. He literally tried to force his mouth down my throat. Seriously? Do you expect me to chase him down the street or Google his address just to find that out? Are you serious? Whose side are you on? Of course I'm on your side. But I'm sorry. I think you, 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 you're scaring every man that comes your way. You can say if he's a playboy or not. I hope the surprise you told me about over the phone is real. Yes, it's real. So can you tell me already? Because you know I hate suspense. What is it? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Wait! Oh my god! So my girl has finally left the single girls club! Tell me what happened! How? When? How did he propose? Okay, uh, last night he invited me out for dinner and um, he went on and on about, you know, ice cream flavored and his cousin's life or whatever. <sighs> I got the ring from the first school. Oh, this is beautiful! Thank you. We had to celebrate. We really have to celebrate. I mean, this calls for celebration. We have to celebrate. We are going to our favorite spot. Definitely. You know, I'm actually done with work, so let me just like, um, Bookie! Do I even begin to know 
mucho a no tener relationship. The best one that you find on the disgust me. You made me a laughing stock amongst all my friends. I know, but I have so much to do at the office. And remember, this is our peak season, so there's too much to do. Plus, you need all the time you can have with your fiancé's parents. But don't worry, I promise to video chat you all through so that you will know every detail and all that is going on with me. Okay. For me, you've been, you've been like the sister I never had. You've been with me all the way, regardless of my shortcomings. Thank you. Don't make that stuff. No, seriously. I mean, it's, you're allowed to cry. But on the real, I'm serious. Your friendship means so much to me. I don't think I would have survived my parents' death without you. Thank you. It's OK. And thank you, too. Because you've been the catalyst of my personal and financial growth. I don't know what I would have done when my parents went broke. I really appreciate it. And yes, I do have a request. Okay. Hmm. But promise me you're going to say yes. Well, first of all, can I hear the request and then I'll see whether or not I would grant it. Say yes first. <laughs> okay, I promise. What is it? You know I'll be away for a while. A hmm. very long time, in fact. And I know that you're going to miss me being around, annoying you, mm -hmm. and all that. So I ask that you give Kule a chance. Listen to him. I mean, life is beautiful to be in solitary. Okay. You know, the funny thing is, I was actually pondering over Kune's case this morning, and um, I've decided to listen to him. Yes, but don't be too excited. It's not like I'm going to be dancing to his tune. I just feel like I've been too hard on him. So just listen to him. Please do. <laughs> OK? OK. I mean, you know, I can tell. You just might fall in love. And I think both of you, combination. Ah. OK, you know what? We only have a few moments. So can we talk about ourselves other than you soliciting for Kunle, OK? All right. So now let me tell you what I want. Okay. I want you to bring me. So, you know the vanilla. What exactly can I do to have your attention? Why are you treating me like I'm some sort of virus or something? I'm talking to you, Natasha. Natasha, I'm talking to you. Okay. <laughs> now that you have my attention, what exactly can I do for you? I like you. I like you so much. I have not been myself since the day I set my eyes on you. I really want to be close to you. That's all? Babe, I'm not into you to play games. My intentions are pure and honest. Okay. Like, so, um, what exactly do you want me to do about that? I want us to be friends. That's all? Yes. 
Okay. Like, you are cool with us being friends? Yes, Kunle. I am. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. It's not like that. No. Um, well, my friendship with you comes with three rules, okay? First of all, I don't want you to ever try to kiss me like you did at the parking lot. And second of all, don't do that again. You almost ran me over. Well, and third... Like I said, I agree with it, the first two. What is the third? Let's just say we'll figure it out as we go along, okay? Right. Okay. Let's say we start on a fresh note. Okay. I am Kunle Richards, a businessman. I'm fun to be around, and thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm Natasha. I'm a project consultant. I work with an oil and gas firm. Sometimes I come across as cold and hard-hearted, mm -hmm. but I'm a very tender person. Thank you. It's nice meeting very you. Very nice to meet you too, Kunle. <laughs> and you have a good day. Likewise. Okay. Hey girl, I'm good, he's good. Are you serious? Well, he actually wanted me to spend the night with him the other day, but I refused. And what did he say? He said he didn't want to ruin what we shared and that he was gonna wait till I was ready. Wow, some people will not subscribe to that, you know? I know, I guess I'm the lucky one. Aww. I'm really missing you and missing all the romantic details with you and not Donald. I cannot wait to come to Nigeria, I swear. Uh, you only have three days to get here, okay? But it feels like three months. That's true. Well, the gist is running away. So when you come back, I will give you all the details you need. Yay, I can't wait. I cannot wait, seriously. So how are you and Mike? How's his parents? How's he? How's everything? Oh, my sweetheart, he's fine. I'm telling you, his parents, they are the best in laws. They treat me like an egg, I swear to God. You won't believe that even his dad tells funny stories during dinner. My mother in law is the most generous and wonderful woman. Oh, I'm so happy for you. You are next in Jesus' name. Amen, Pastor. Listen, don't forget my scented oils, okay? And those sexy lingerie I requested for, okay? You never know, I just might wear it for him. <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't. Okay, dear. Bye. All right, then you have a good one. Bye. Wow, congratulations, son. Thank you so much for heeding to my advice. You made my day. Hmm? You're welcome to my family. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Responsible for her pregnancy? Kunle, 
dead by you. You are a disgrace to manhood. You broke up the relationship for no just reason. Fine. It was a tough blow, Connie. But guess what? I accepted my fate and I moved on. Last week, I was admitted at the hospital over the high blood pressure caused by the heartbreak. The doctor ran some tests to me and told me I was three months pregnant, Colin. These allegations true? Doing here? Get out of my office. Tasha, I agree. I lived rough and crackless life in the past. But please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am a changed person. Did I hear you ask for forgiveness? Yes. Kule, I am not the one who holds the key to your forgiveness. The women you impregnated and treated badly and denied them the joy of getting married to the father of your unborn children, those are the ones you need to be apologizing to, not me. Natasha, I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. Coming for the first time since the death of my parents, I felt happy and special. And I was willing to spend the rest of my life with you. But you hurt me so bad. You know why? Because I've grown to love you. I love you, Kunle. I love you with every, every bone, every vein, every muscle, every organ in my system. But I can't. I can't, Kunle. I can't deal with the competition and complication in your life right now. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Why? Why me? Screwed up my life and lost the chance of ending up with a woman that I truly love. Why? Yes. Okay. Like, you are cool with us being friends? Yes, Connor. I am. <laughs> What are you doing here? Get out of my office. Natasha. <laughs> what else is there for? I agree. I leave. Promiscuous life in the past. By then, do I, I need to lose out on the chance of ending up with a woman that I truly love? Natasha, I called you. I visited. I did all I could after the ugly incident. You avoided me. You avoided me like a virus.
Babe, I'm guilty of a lot of things. But I'm a changed person. Meeting you awoke me to the reality of true love. I am ashamed of my past. Sorry. I have a staying history. But then, babe, you only, uh, I am ready to set all things right. I want to make every wrong I have done. I came here because, because I can't get you out of my mind. I've tried a thousand times to erase the memories of you from my mind, but I can't. Your thoughts are driving me crazy. Natasha, the feeling is mutual. I have been a shadow of myself since the ugly incident. Please, Natasha, give me a second chance. No. Kunle, there are some wrongs that cannot be made right. What do I do about the two women you impregnated? Huh? How do I cope with the thought that my man has children out of wedlock? Kunle, I don't want to deal with the drama of having women compete with me over the man I'm in love with. I don't. I don't want to be part of this mess. I just don't. Natasha, see, there's a difference between being a baby mama of a man than being the only woman with key to a man's heart. I won't deny the fact that I will take up the responsibility of my children. But then, Natasha, you are the only one who can make my life complete. With you, Natasha, I am happy and complete, man. Please, Natasha, don't write me off. Give me a chance to prove my undiluted true love to you. Please, Natasha, please give me a second chance. Um, Chloe, I don't think my heart is large enough to do this. Sorry. Please, 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 Natasha. Please, please, Natasha, give me a second chance, please. I know a lot of you will blame me for getting back with Kunle, but I can't help it. I cannot keep judging him for the mistakes he made before I met him. I mean, I know it's hard for a woman to live with the fact that her man has children from another woman. But then again, I have decided to accept him for who he is. I love him with the whole of my heart. You will forever be my one and only queen. And together, we shall live happily. Dave? You know me inside out. You know my strength and my weakness. Will you still reconsider accepting my engagement proposal? Only on one condition. What is it, babe? I want you to promise me that you will not have anything romantically involved with any of your baby mamas. I promise to be faithful to you and only you, Natasha. Well then, I will marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making me a complete man. Mm-hmm. <laughs>